Okay, so what is it we're here to talk about today? Um, anyway, I'm here to, to announce what, what I believe to be a, a really major breakthrough in low carbon fuels. Um, in fact, it's, it's a fuel that has half the carbon footprint uh, of a conventional uh, fossil fuel. Um, industrial processes produce uh, vast amounts of waste energy. They, they produce waste energy such as carbon monoxide, uh, which is typically flared off as carbon dioxide, which is the major greenhouse gas. So uh, what we're planning to do is to capture the carbon monoxide, the CO, uh, which is then very cleverly through the Lanzatech process, which uh, Jennifer Holgram will talk about, uh, ultimately produce jet fuel. So in a nutshell, what we've gone into is the recycling business. Yeah, I think we became increasingly aware that um, we, we were very much part of an industry that had created the global economy and that was critical to the global economy. I mean, we would not have uh, the economy we have today. You would not have India and China having emerged as the superpowers they have without aviation, without the jet engine. And that while aviation actually only contributed a relatively small amount of carbon in total, less than 3%, uh, and it was able to keep advancing technology with improved engines and improved aircraft. Nonetheless, if you looked at the, the ultimate growth that was going to take place in aviation, and particularly in the developing countries, there was an urgent need to do something about alternative fuels. There's an awful lot of carbon monoxide out there that's being flared. And so when you talk about current biofuel sources, many of them compete with the food supply or are limited to hundreds of millions of gallons. What we're talking about here is something that can have a much, much bigger impact. You could literally make billions of gallons if we can capture that CO. So really have finally the ability to have a material impact on the fuel pool. We can basically go from a waste gas stream that would normally be flared to make CO2 into something that can be put on the wing of an airplane. How exciting to think that you know, the, you know, all, all, everything that's going up in these you know, power stacks behind us, uh, I, I mean, a lot of that can be siphoned off, recycled, and, and turned into fuel. Um, you know, the, the, the world is, is running out of uh, oil. I mean, the, the, I mean we, you know, some people believe that, you know, that, that peak oil is going to be with us in six or seven years. Um, you know, this d double, doubles the use of um, that doubles the use of oil, and, 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 and that's yet, yet another benefit. Um, it also, for the first time ever, um, brings some competition to the jet fuel industry. I think this is the most important announcement that I've perhaps made in my lifetime, and, and, and that is that um, Virgin Atlantic um, uh, have come up with a fuel that, uh, that I think will be able to dramatically reduce its carbon, uh, carbon footprint. Um, this fuel will re re reduce the output of carbon by 50%. And, and what it is doing is very simply just you know, taking all the rubbish that comes out of steel plants, um, uh, out, out of aluminium plants, out of coal power, power stations, um, and uh, which, which would normally would go up uh, into the Earth's atmosphere and turning that into a jet aviation fuel, um, which will uh, power our planes um, you know, at, at a a, a, a fraction of the carbon output that, that has happened in the, in, the, in the past. So you're excited by this? Sir? Um, enormously excited. I think that, you know, we're, only, we're talking only two years away from, the, you know, from, from um, Virgin Atlantic flying planes to China, flying planes to India u using this fuel.